There are a lot of songs that are out right now celebrating the team's success. We brought you one earlier from K-Drama, but there was a song that was released at the beginning of this season that's getting a little bit more buzz right now. WCPO 9 News reporter Lisa Smith joins us live. She's over at Paul Brown Stadium. She talked to the writers and the producer of the song Stripes. It's a good one. Hey, Lisa. Hey, good morning, Adrian. Yeah, producer Tony Burkhart and rapper Gift Vader have been working together on songs for several years now, but none of them have quite gotten this level of attention that they're getting right now from Stripes. With the jersey unveiling, it was like, you know, we got new Stripes, you know, and, and Stripes was kind of like the catchphrase. Tony Burkhart heads Black Light Productions and is also a producer and engineer. He teamed up with local rapper Gift Vader to write Stripes to energize Bengals fans this season. We hoped it would get to this point to the Super Bowl, but you know, as Bengals fans, you're always like, oh, there's going to be that one crippling flaw, that one heartbreaking moment that shatters the whole thing. In the day, black in the night. For Giff Vader, rooting for Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase in Bengals stripes has a special meaning. Both of my parents are from Louisiana. I was born in Baton Rouge. Uh, my birth certificate literally says Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, so I've always been an LSU fan. Um, and I've always followed the Bengals too. His favorite verse. Cincinnati, she's our queen. And we gonna show the world who it took a couple weeks to write the lyrics and come up with the beat. Then came about a seven hour recording session and video shoot. He just killed it though. I mean, he brings the energy and without the energy that that song wouldn't be half of what it is. It was something I couldn't pass up because I know um, this guy right here. Like musically, he's like the best that I've ever worked with. And lots of Bengals fans are taking notice. Some want the song to be played inside the stadium. And in just the last two weeks, views of the video on YouTube have jumped by 50,000. And then another girl from Michigan, uh, she actually uh, sent me a DM and said her 67 year old um, grandpa uh, drives around bumping stripes in his <laughs> Jeep. So I was like, oh, this song is different because like it, it affects everybody from ages four to 67. And by the way, that four-year-old, apparently the parent caught them watching the video over and over again on the iPad. Now I just checked YouTube and now it's looking like they're at just under a hundred thousand views. Meanwhile, they say that they have not heard from any Bengals players yet about their reaction to the song, but apparently they ran into wide receiver T Higgins parents and they said they liked it. Reporting live at Paul Brown Stadium, Lisa Smith, WCPO 9 News.